Anybody remember this old girl? So randomly you'll see us do vlogs, uh, talk about current events, and sometimes that's just because we need some content and we don't have any content. And we don't have content because it's just me in the shop and um, I work for stuff that sometimes I can't make videos on. Some of that is for customers who don't want their stuff on, on the internet. Sometimes it's just repetitive stuff that I've done before and there's no point in making a video. And sometimes I work for Canada's Worst Driver gets filmed in Dunville and I can't talk about it until the season's aired. Now, they do pay pretty decent and it's a lot of fun. Their catering is amazing. It's, I love my wife's cooking, but the catering is like, oh. When you go there with the stars and there's like lobster and there's like fish and not lobster, sorry, but fish and steak and potatoes and veggies and, and drinks, amazing. Anyway, here's a little clip, a little bit of stuff that I did. I fixed their teeter-totter for them. I prepped the vehicles to make sure they're safe. They don't have much diesel stuff, so the bus in there, I got the bus running, did a bunch of other stuff. Uh, in 2017, I paid, painted a 2016 Mustang that had 300 kilometers on it, like 300 kilometers on it. Ah, oh, there she is painted. <laughs> nice big dent. I don't even know how this, 300, can you see that? 323 kilometers. Oh, C manual, traction off. Welcome to Dunville. You're on your own. As much as I don't like reality TV, it's pretty close to rea as close to reality TV as it gets. Some of it's still kind of, yeah, can't really say a whole lot, but uh, check it out. It's on uh, discovery.ca, I think. Um, Discovery Canada. It is season 14. I don't know if there's gonna be a season 15, but uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> check it out. Here we go. All right, now what do we have? Looks like some sort of odd contraption. We're supposed to balance some vehicles on this. Um, very well built. Look at these nice welds. And then look at these. That looked like a little kid just put some bubble gum on there and that was it. But if you look across here, she's nice and flat. So it's a little too easy to balance. So I gotta cut these off, make a new shape for it, and make it a little bit more difficult to balance on. So I think before I do anything, I kinda wanted to try it out. We'll probably grab the little red Nissan. I knew it was good for something. We'll cut this off, and then we'll put a different moon on it. I kinda wanna try it beforehand to see the before and after, but I don't think that's necessary. So yeah, here we go. The penetration is not real. <laughs> I was holding it. <laughs> that caught me by surprise. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Are these even welded on? Let's grab the hammer. I bet you three hits. Could have done it three hits, but uh, I want to have my truck. So use our tape boss and our CAD drawing to get the profile that we need. Grab some flat bar, 12 pieces of side pieces, and then three twice as long. We just weld it to the side like this, and then we do need a little flat spot of about two inches where you can actually balance the car, otherwise it's gonna be too difficult. So um, obviously we're gonna be taking the bends. Um, because we're grabbing steel at a steel yard, so um, yeah, it wouldn't make sense to take the truck. And um, yeah, here we go. So score at the steel yard. Got these. I just cut them into 18-inch sections. Then I can get whatever angle I want, keep it nice and even, and it'll be perfect. All right, got all the old stick welder. <laughs> After baking my rods in the oven for a little bit, uh, not too bad. Um, I'll do the far side and then I'll put a string line across and then I'll put the center up to it. I'm just going to do the outside ones for now. This will be plenty to hold the car 
I'll weld a little bit at the top um, if they want. If it's too difficult, we can take the grinder and flatten it. If it's too easy, we can grind um, a little bit more off of this corner. Either way, I think this is close. One way or another, it's going to suck having to do it any other profile. So, fingers crossed, this will do it. Here we go. All right, got the three welded on. Put my string line across. Pretty even, I think, for the most part. Okay, so I called the, uh, the owners of this and asked them if they wanted to come and try it out. And they said, no, nah, we're going home for the weekend. So, I put the other side on and then I tacked these ones on as well. I didn't use my MIG welder because I'm outside and the gas doesn't work so well. So just use the old stick welder, use 7018 rod, which is a good, good old, it's kind of hard to get started, but once you're started, it's a good rod for all position. So I'll flip this thing back over, fire up the old Nissan, and then uh, see if we can do it. Let's get this thing off the trailer, here we go. Measured right. What do you call those guys that know what they're doing? All right, there she is in all her glory. The wood just barely holding on. Now, which car should I take to do this stunt? I should do the Nissan because it's standard, but I'm gonna do an automatic first. Let's see if the K car can do it. In maps that weren't aerial views. That guy was weeping openly. Oh yeah, K car also has almost no brakes. Too much! <laughs> oh, there go the brakes. I don't think there's an actual exact half balance point as long as you can get it off the ground. Try it in the Mercedes for a minute. It has brakes. Alright, see if Hoogie's able to do it. So you're, you're, yeah, you're balancing right now. See if you can move back like a quarter inch. Am I not, am I touching you? You're not touching. <laughs> that, that's the spot right there. Right there. I'm not half as agile as I used to be. Oh, jeez, I'm old. What's that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. We just got to hold on wreck in the grass. Is that cheating if you use your Truck's gonna make it. Runs like a top. <laughs> I gotta drag it up. 
So that's it for today. It's, I gotta yank this thing off. Um, <laughs> but I'll see what uh, I have to call them. Tell them they gotta bring their own car. Here we go. <laughs> the truck just threw up all over the driveway. <laughs> what is that? That's not cooling. Oh, I'll load it up. We gotta try it out on the concrete there. Um, if it doesn't work, I'll put another little section in the middle. If it's too hard, I'll cut a section out and put a little flat spot. But uh, that's as much videotaping as I can do. I can take my welder with me. And uh, yeah, I uh, might see this video, maybe not. I don't know. Here we go. What if they told them, like, this is the car, there's $20,000 at the end, but for every piece of damage you do, we're taking money away to fix it. Yeah, them. yeah, we're taking away, we're gonna take it away like a hundred bucks or whatever. Every time that you could yeah. get at the end of this. Yeah. And then people would be way more inclined not to destroy the car. They said the Canada's best drive. <laughs> Scare them all. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Well, it was a good episode, and they forgot my name in the credits. Boo! Boo! So they're gonna get an email next week, they better have my name in the credits. Buggers. <laughs>